Now the next problem is that determine the magnitude and direction theta of the minimum force P needed to pull this 50 kg roller over the smooth step. So we have to find this P minimum and this angle theta. So now we have that same uh, roller and we need to find this P minimum in order to pull this roller over this smooth step. So now if, I, if we again consider all the forces, uh, so here we will have the force applied by the by the corner or by the edge of this uh, step so that will be B and the weight is going to act vertically downward and this is 490.5 that is 50 into 9.81 this gives us 490.5 newtons so now uh, just before the start of motion uh, just before pulling this roller over the step, the roller will be in equilibrium. And if the roller is in equilibrium, the summation of these three forces, this force, this force, and this force, that must be equal to zero since the roller will be in equilibrium. And if these three forces are acting at this particular point A, so in order to have the zero resultant, they must make a closed triangle. So now if, if we look into all these forces, if I draw that force B, so this is that force B. And the weight must be acting vertically downward since we already know that the weight is always acting in the downward direction. So this will be our weight vector. And now force P, let me draw that force P. So let's say this is my force P vector. So now we want to have this P minimum. And let me extend the line of action of this B. Let me extend. So now if, if we look into this P force, the length of this vector is the magnitude of P. So as I go away from this, away on the line of action of this B force, the length of this P force increases. And as I go towards my right, again the p force increases at some particular point we will have this vector length as minimum and by observation we can say that when this red vector which represents that p makes an angle of 90 degree with this b at that particular instant this p vector will have length of minimum value again observe this if i go towards the left so again, the length of this P force vector increases. And if I go towards the right, it's, its length decreases, decreases, decreases. And at some particular instant, it becomes minimum. And then after that, when I move towards the right, the length increases again. So when the length becomes minimum, it is that particular point where this red vector, which represent that force P, will be going to make 90 degrees. So when this force P is making 90 degrees with that B vector, at that particular instant, we will have this P vector as minimum. So this P will be P minimum when it is making 90 degrees with this B force. So now if I extend the line of action of this B force here, if we extend this, the line of action of this B force, so for having this P has minimum value, this need to make 90 degree angle here. So for P equals to P minimum, this P needs to have 90 degree with this B vector. So now if this is 90 degree and then let me draw a vertical line here at this particular point, this is that vertical line so this vertical line is making 90 degree with the horizontal and this b force is making 90 degree with this p vector so if the angle between this p vector and this horizontal line is theta then the angle between this b and this vertical line is also theta if we are claiming that this p force is making 90 degrees so if this p force is making 90 degrees then this b force will be making that same angle theta here so let's say that this angle is equal to theta 
So this means that for P minimum, uh, if it is making theta angle here, then this B force must be making that same angle theta here with the vertical as well. Otherwise, this P will not be minimum. So now if this is angle theta, we can find this angle theta by considering the geometry. So for that, if we make a closed triangle here, let's say if we make a right angle triangle, this is a right angle triangle. Now from these dimensions, this is uh, 300, the radius. Let me draw that triangle here. So this is 0 0.3, this is that point A, this is point B. So this is 300 mm is 0 0.3 and this length is 300 minus 50 so 250 and in meters this is 0 0.25 this is 0 0.25 and here we have that angle theta for that p minimum so now we can find this angle theta if we use this triangle so we can say that cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse and theta is cos inverse 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.3 so cos inverse 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.3 this gives us theta equals to 33.56 degrees approximately so if that force p is making uh 33.56 degree angle with the horizontal so it will be making 90 degree with this b force and or if if we have that this theta equals to 33.56 we will get this p value as minimum value so now if if we know that this p is making angle theta so it will be making that same angle theta here as well so let's let me show it here this is we can say that this is p minimum it is making that angle theta whose magnitude is 33.56 so now as we can see that this is 90 degrees as well so then we know this angle this angle will be 90 minus this so 90 minus 33.56 this is 56.54 this is 56.54 degrees so let me write that this angle is 56.44 degrees so now we can find this p minimum if we know the weight so weight is given right this this weight is equal to 490.5 newtons so now if we consider this as a right angle triangle so this is the hypotenuse of the triangle since the opposite side to the 90 degree is always the hypotenuse this is the base and this is the perpendicular so now from this triangle we can say that p minimum is the cos component of this and if this angle is 56.44 so we can say that p minimum is 490.5 cos of 56.4 so 490.5 cos of 56.44 this gives us 271.15 this is 271.15 newtons so this is that p minimum so this is one way of finding p minimum right if we if we determine this theta we can find this p by applying the summation of moment about point b equals to zero the summation of moment about point b that must be equals to zero and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so now if this p force is making a 90 degree then the moment produced by this p minimum about this point b will be p minimum times the radius since the since if, since this length is now perpendicular to this p vector so now we can say that the uh, moment produced by this p minimum is counterclockwise so you will write plus p minimum and the radius of this roller is the perpendicular distance of this p from that point b so that will be the moment arm so we will multiply it with 0 0.3 and uh, 
this weight is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus 490.5 and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this weight from that point b is this distance this distance so and this distance will be if this is let's say x then applying the pythagoras theorem this will be uh, 0 0.3 square equals to x square plus 0 0.25 square and then x will be equal to 0 0.3 square minus 0 0.25 square under the square root so this x is the moment arm of this uh, weight which is going to produce the clockwise moments so we'll multiply this with 0 0.3 square minus 0 0.25 square under the square root and this is equal to zero and if i bring this whole term to the other side of the equation it will become positive so we can write the equation like this so p minimum will be if we divide both sides by 0 0.3 so this will cancel out and we will get p minimum and that p minimum is 490.5 into uh, 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.25 square divided by 0 0.3 so this gives us that same uh, 271.13 so p minimum is 271.134 which is approximately equal to this so the minimum force p which is required to pull this roller over this smooth step is 271.15 and there are two methods to find it the first method is using uh, this triangle that is the the geometric analysis and this is by applying the summation of moment about point b equals to zero but the p for having p minimum this p vector must be uh, at 90 degree with the line of action of this b force otherwise this p will not be minimum so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it's helpful in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler statics